Welcome back to my channel, Free Indeed, where we stand on the premise that says, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 26. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you like the content of my channel, I will be uploading a video every day. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you. So today we want to look at how to renew the mind. And we stand on the scriptures, Romans 12, 2, that says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So renewing the mind, meaning that we replace old thoughts with new thoughts. Old bad thoughts with new good thoughts. So we always battle evil thoughts and the mind is the battleground of the enemy. So even with witchcraft that a lot of persons are affected by, it is the mind that is affected. So if the mind gets sick, then the body will automatically be sick because wherever the mind goes, the body goes. So if we have a healthy mind, we will have a healthy body. And if we have a healthy mind filled with the word of God, we will be able to walk in God's truth and in God's promises. So let us look at how we can renew our mind. All right, the first way we can renew our mind is filling it with the word of God. We fill our mind with the word of God by reading his word, so we can listen to audio Bibles while we sleep or we can memorize scripture. So 1 Peter 2.2 2 says, Desire the word of God so that you may grow up into your salvation. All right. So the word of God will edify us, build us up and make us grow in our salvation. Another way to renew our mind is by guarding our mind. We cannot allow our mind to be a cesspool where we let all different kinds of information in. We have to be careful of the movies that we watch, the music that we listen to, the conversation that we have with families and friends and as a Christian, Gossip is a no, no. The enemy will use your friend to come to you with conversations that are not godly. And we also entertain unforgiveness and bitterness and offense in our mind. Sometimes we rehearse the things that, that we think would happen in our mind. And then we have these negative conversations without ourselves. Let us hear what 2 Corinthians 10.5 says about our mind. It says, destroy speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. So we need to take every thought captive and think about what would Jesus say? Is my thought edifying? Is it a Christian thought? Is it something that is pleasing to my God? Because God is a holy God. So your thoughts must be holy. Your thought life must be holy. Let's hear what Philippians 4 verse 8 has to say. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honorable, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are commendable, if there is any moral excellence and if there is anything praiseworthy, dwell on those things. So we cannot be, as Christian, dwelling on negative thoughts, on holy thoughts. It must fit in with Philippians 4 verse 8. It must be holy, 
it must be true it must be pure it must be lovely it must be commendable it must be moral and excellent and also praise worthy and these are the things that we should think on to edify ourselves to renew our mind we have to think the good thoughts okay prayer is also a way to renew our mind all right remember that the word of god is sharp and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword so when we pray and we pray the word of god that will help us to renew our mind. Let us hear what Philippians 4 verse 7 has to say. All right. Even though Paul tells us that the peace of mind comes from casting our cares on God. And Philippians 4 7 says, And the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay. So the peace of God will keep our mind on Christ Jesus. And the final way we can get our mind right is the fighting the lies with truth and promises. Remember, the devil is a liar and he doesn't tell all lies. He mixes it with the truth. Just like with Eve in the Garden of Eden, he says that she shall not surely die, but she shall have the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, so we have to not even try to figure it out we just need to go to the word of god and rely on his word and his promises satan always try to tear down our self-worth and self-esteem so when the temptation comes we need to stand on the promises of god that build us up satan will come and remind us of our sinful nature our sinful past things that we've done in the past and we have not been able to forgive ourselves even though we have not been able to forgive ourselves we must remember that god has forgiven us because he says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins the blood of jesus christ cleanses us from all our sins so the minute you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, your sins have been forgiven. And there's therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. And that is the word that you stand on. That is the truth and the promise of God that you stand on. Let us pray, Father God. I pray tonight that the peace of God that passes all understanding will be over everyone who is listening to my voice. Father God, the lies of the enemies will be revealed. Strengthen them, O oh God, to, re to know and see the lies of the enemy when he comes at us with lies and different temptations and different condemnation. Help us to understand that you have forgiven us and there's victory in you. And we can stand on your promises because lord you said you put your word above your name and you said that we should remind you of your word so every day when the enemy comes we remind you of your word that says that if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive our sins and we stand on that word because who the son set free is free indeed amen Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you again in my next video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Be blessed. Bye.